Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance. And uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading December 9th to December 15th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds guys to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can jump right into it. Uh, by the way, I have changed the spread for this week. It's going to be 8 cards simple spread instead of 4 cards enhanced elemental dignity tarot spread it is just you know uh the simple spreads are more easier to read so it's going to be a little bit more laid back for me all right so uh the first card which stands for the topic of your week that is going to be the tree of pentacles followed by the next one here which represents the uh, energies which are supporting the topic of the week that is going to be the five of cups the third card stands for the challenge that you Pisces need to overcome throughout this week. That is going to be the um, Sun card. Followed by the fourth one, which stands for the gifts and the blessings that uh, the week is going to offer you. And that will be the, ten, uh, the Nine of Pentacles, excuse me. Followed by the fifth card here, which stands for how people are going to see you. Uh, that is going to be the, five, uh, the Ace of Wands. Followed by the next one, which stands for the um, what can help your long term goals here throughout this week. And that is going to be the Knight of Wands. Followed by the next one, which represents what can hurt your long term goals. That is going to be the Six of Swords. And the last one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you uh, for the week. We have the Page of Cups. All right. So uh, the topic of the week and the energies, these two cards. So we do have the Three of Pentacles for the topic and the Five of Cups for the energies that are supporting the topic. We have a second goal, but this time around, uh, this second goal over the endeavor or over the enterprise is going to be aligned with everybody around. Uh, this is about a, a second chance or a second try here with the Five of Cups, and it is about the denial of saying it's not gonna happen okay so it's more like a, a a determination to make it happen despite that everything around or everybody around is telling you that you can't do it not everybody around because the tree of pentacles here suggests that there are people believing in you people believing into your uh, capabilities people believing that you can do it and therefore uh, those people are going to support you through your development career wise or relationship wise people are going to support you to be with a specific guy or a girl people are going to support you going for that job people are going to support you doing this enterprise and so on and so forth uh, <clears throat> For a reason being is that those people who are supporting you are going to understand and see that that is at this moment everything you want 
Okay, and so they will try to do whatever they can to help you achieve that goal, which includes, by the way, quite sort of a uh, meaningful conversations that you're going to have with them. And uh, those people are going to criticize you one way or another, not with the bad emotions and bad feelings, not to make you feel bad, but to make you uh, understand what is the best move at that particular stage. So it's kind of like people will try to teach you something. Okay, but definitely with the three of pentacles and the five of cups we do have like a return take it that way that you have tried something you failed and now you return to try it again with this time a much more bigger potential this thing to happen around so what is the challenge here are uh, the sun card that is not good at all the sun card here points that it will be very challenging to make the thing to grow whatever you are after relationship or a career not impossible but very challenging. Uh, for one reason, it is because you do have a lot to do. The states that you are finding your current goal, it's very unnatural according to the Sun card. And you're going to find it very challenging to bounce it back into a unnatural state. Additionally to that, the Sun points to, in this particular uh, position, into overconfidence meaning that you see how much support you have. People were giving you all kinds of advices. Um, people were willing to step in for you and so on and so forth. And you can leave your guard, leave your guard down. You can become lazy and so on and so forth. So it's going to be challenging to maintain the vitality of your spirit, to eager, uh, to maintain the eager, if you will, of your spirit as well. So the next card points to the blessings that uh, the week is going to gift you with. And this is the blessing of success. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles here points that the universe itself is going to bless you. It's like laying its palm over your head, uh, helping you with everything you touch and everything you do. And that's why it will require from you courage to believe in yourself throughout this week. Because uh, it's truly the uh, Nine of Pentacles. It's about the big endeavor, the big fish that you catch in the murky waters, all right? And uh, once you catch it, you should not let it go, but instead, you know, keep on developing into that direction. So the gift itself, um, if I have to summarize with this card, guys, it is that what is going to come out as a uh, potential or as a uh, unfoldment of uh, this thing that you got bounced back into is going to be is going to exceed your expectations is going to be much bigger than you have previously imagined so just to give you an example here you tried to be with someone you failed now you have the chance to bounce back this time with the support of for example her brother or her sister his brother his sister so on and so forth so everything aligns for you all right uh, of course, you have to fix certain things, but uh, what manifests at the end is going to exceed your expectations in a very good and positive way. So how the people were seeing you here, we do have the Ace of Wands, a very positive card. People were seeing you ready. It's as simple as that. And people were seeing you as a unpolished stone, unpolished diamond, if you will, which uh, only needs opportunity to be given to to that diamond so it can refine itself and that's why people were supporting you here people were helping you or allowing you to have this opportunity which uh, by the way is going to be according to the ace of wands uh it's um, also people were seeing you as a quite an experienced as well this is how they take you it doesn't mean that you are such in a such position, but they are seeing you as in, inexperienced and for that reason, you know, they are a little bit more um, rough in their criticism towards you. So the other card here points what is going to help you in your in the chase of your long term goals. So what is the steps you got to do throughout this week in order to get one step closer to your long term goals? We do have the Knights of Wounds and that is a, a person that needs to serve you for an example. I would say that if you take that uh, right now the path towards your goals is going through a marsh. Okay. 
that person walks in front of you and it is trying the soil where the soil is solid enough so you can step and only thing you gotta do here is to take an example of the steps of this person his determination for example his experiments draw from that like draw experience from that draw conclusions from it and finally at the end um, systemize your future strategy systemize your future plan if you will but i do suspect that the biggest example that that person is going to give you is uh, the uh, enterprising spirit that the person is going to have and as well the uh, the determination to do what the situation requires from you to do so in other words not to give up from a challenge the next one represents uh, what is going to hurt your goals and that is the six of swords fear it is what is going to hurt your goals uh, it looks like that you are uh, in in regards to the long-term goals there is a quite sort of a big gap in between a, a, a stable positions and you just need to make that jump that you may find yourself quite afraid to do so. And for that reason, you need this example of the Knights of Wands here, okay? Just to see that it is possible, if you will. And once you see that it is possible, you're also going to see that there is nothing for you to be afraid of. In reality, you don't jeopardize anything, but instead, whatever action you do from now on, simply only going to improve your circumstances, your personal circumstances. And for that reason, what you should not do here is two things fear you need to overcome your fear and the second thing is do not gamble all right that's why you have this example to gamble in front of you and to see which move and so you can see which move is the beneficial move all right and the last card it is that we do have as a guidance and that is going to be the page of cups so page of cups points that this week it's just a uh, i would say as a foundation or a, a week of preparation because the card points that a, a big change is looming on the horizon for you pisces i mean a very big change and right now it will be much more effective if you focus on the overview rather than on the insignificant peripheral activities or the minor details and also uh, the page of cups urges you to make critical analysis of oneself and to see you know what you can improve what you are doing wrong for example what you are good at as well so you can reposition yourself in a, such a fashion that you can face this looming change in the most beneficial manner so that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading, December 9th to December 15, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then.